Hello everybody. I recently replaced our gas hot water heater and the hot water delivery is as expected everywhere in our house with the exception of the master bath shower. I don't think it has anything to do with the hot water heater but we're acutely aware now of something not exactly right here at this valve since the hot water heater is new. So let me show you what I found. I'm making this video only because the information I was able to find on the internet seem to be rather inconsistent or incomplete. So just a short video to tell you what I know about this particular valve and maybe it'll help you. This happens to be a Moen valve and it's 16 and a half years old. Perhaps the videos that are out there apply to newer valves. Maybe that's the explanation. But let me tell you what we have going on here. Uh, here's the cartridge right here in the center. Right here is the, I think they call that the balancing spool. And you'll see a screw here on both sides of the valves. There's one on the right and there's one on the left. And those are isolation valves. Essentially, when you close those valves, you shut off the water supply coming in from the right and from the left. And then you're able to remove the cartridge and replace the cartridge without shutting off the main water supply to your house. So that's really the purpose of these two screws. Some of the videos out there said turn the screws quarter turn to open, a quarter turn to close, and maybe that again that applies to newer valves. There's another video out there which was uh, a very nicely done animation which said turn the, turn the screw uh, quarter turn and to open it. So what I thought was really rather confusing or probably inaccurate is that you'll see I've got this uh, screwdriver slot lined up vertically and it said turn the screw counterclockwise or clockwise a quarter turn to horizontal to shut it off and that just even if it is a quarter turn valve I doubt that the horizontal position is the off position I would assume that the vertical position is the off position. So in any event, I found both of these valves not to be all the way open. One was about halfway open. They were, they were jammed tight, so it took me a while to get them free. But one was about halfway open. The other one was about a third open. So I've got both of these valves now completely open. They are counterclockwise open. And if I turn them clockwise, both of them, I've got no water delivery at the shower head, which means there's no water available and I could uh, easily replace the cartridge as needed. So, I got these backed out all the way. I'm hoping that's going to improve the situation a little bit. It might explain why the water delivery isn't what I expected. And again, this video is out there just to clarify some of the other videos. Maybe the other videos are accurate, but I can tell you that what I've just shared with you is accurate for this Moen valve. Hey, thanks for watching, and good luck with your do-it-yourself repairs.